I'm about to paper this window wall here. We have a previously papered wall uh, that we used for another video on a feature wall. I'm now going to use a different paper with a pattern that will demonstrate how to run around a reveal and a window and underneath and keep the pattern going. There's a couple of things we need to do. You can see in the corner now, I have my laser level on. This corner is perfectly straight. I've checked it. So what I can do is come away from this corner, running the paper tight into there, knowing that it's straight. But what I can do is keep my laser line where have we gone? Here, so I can keep an eye on when I drop the paper down. That level will be through a pattern. And if it's running out one way or the other, I can adjust the paper. If this corner wasn't perfectly straight and we couldn't come off of there and we had to set our own level, we'd have to move in maybe to here, hang our paper there perfectly level and then let a piece in this corner your ceiling line might not be straight. That might horizontally be moving up or down. You disregard that completely. You disregard the level of this if it's not straight. Your paper must be straight all the time. So if a ceiling line runs out and a pattern uh, becomes more obvious, you see more of a pattern or less of a pattern, there's nothing you can do. You have to pan your paper perfectly vertically so all your patterns are horizontal, uh, vertically level with reveals horizontally level with window seals, that's what you need, especially with a pattern like this. If it was slightly out, you'd notice it. Abstract patterns, no patterns at all. You haven't really got to be too precise because it won't make the slightest bit of difference. In this case, my corner here is level, so I couldn't come away from there. If you find when you're hanging longer drops, this laser level is invaluable. You can put a spirit level up, but the bubble in the gauge of the level isn't perfectly accurate and if you're maybe coming down a hallway and you've got a 12 16 um, feet drop you can have those big drops on hallways you might not run straight all the time you might start twisting your paper and that's when your paper will overlap because you may have it perfectly level here as you drop down with a big length of paper you might slightly and it'll be a millimeter less than that that you twist it and it'll overlap it's because as you're brushing out or smoothing your paper, you're twisting it slightly or the paper's stretching, you must keep your levels perfect all the time. And with a hallway, you put your longest drop on first, a big, nice, for another nice vertical line and work away from that. In this case, as I said, my corner's level. So I'm quite happy to start in this corner, come around the wall and it will just wrap into the reveal and our pattern will be straight. But with my laser, I can make sure this pattern is always level.